Hey guys, Mark with Spagabber Backpacking, back again. And today, I wanted to tell you guys about a new stove that I've been working on, playing around with. Uh, today I was sitting around, had some, some spare materials around, so I decided I would try working on something new. And so this is what I came up with. And it uses the Starbucks can that I like to use, the little six and a half ounce uh, espresso and cream can, and it uses the small this happens to be a cherry Dr. Pepper can, the seven and a half fluid ounce cherry Dr. Pepper can. It also has carbon felt, so black carbon felt cut to size and put in there. So what this is, is it's my take on the Fancy Feast. Uh, so it doesn't go together quite as, quite as easily as just cutting them and putting them together, but maybe I'll do another, another video later on to show um, how I made it, how it goes together but it seems to work really well. So let's just, nothing scientific about this, no, uh, no timer, no boil test here, just some water in a pot, some fuel in the stove, and let's see how it works. So I put the fuel in, and immediately it soaked it all up into the, the carbon felt. And what's good about that is that now you can just put the, the pot on, and it's going to, it's gonna light without having to worry about getting it primed. So there we go. It's lit. You probably can't see it, but it's going. I can feel it. Uh, it'll take a little bit of time for it to, to fully ignite and light all the way around. But if I put my hands around, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, uh, but it is definitely going. And it creates a great, a great burn. Now here's, here's the big thing that I like about this. One of the reasons that I've stuck with my Spagiver stove I apologize about the, the dogs barking in the background. Uh, one of the things I've stuck with my Spagiver stove is the simplicity of it and how light it is. It's between four and five grams, uh, depending on how tall it is. You know, like I said, none, <laughs> no two of my stoves are, are exactly the same dimensions. I just kind of wing it, create them. And uh, so this one is actually only eight grams. So this is a a good copy of the Fancy Feast, but now we're only dealing with eight grams, so that's only a quarter of an ounce, quite a bit lighter than, than many of the others that are out there, and uh, you know, it's a nice, it's a pretty stable platform here, even though it's a, a small pot support, it's actually a pretty stable, stable platform. Uh, I did holes, or not really holes, but little divots down at the bottom so that the fuel can go from the, the main inner chamber out to the carbon felt and then I've got two little half moon cutouts as well just to create a vent so that there's no pulsing and so that it burns nice and even and I've got a good burn going I did it in the house uh, where it was a little bit darker and you could see it and the flames never really came out from outside of the, the pot so it was a nice concentrated flame and the pattern was, was nice and it kind of stayed where I wanted it. So everything there, so far, I like what I'm seeing with it. The weight penalty isn't very high. Uh, it's still nice and compact. So I think this is something I'll probably be trying on one of my next trips. I'll probably make a, uh, a simmer ring for this as well and see if we can do some dry baking with this. I have seen in the past that these with the carbon felt tend to be more efficient, burn a little bit longer so that would be a positive thing for dry baking. So if I can get this set up and configured right to do some dry baking, I think this will be a, a winner, uh, especially at, at eight grams. I mean, difference between five grams and eight grams is not a whole lot in the scheme of things. I mean, when we consider what we're carrying, you know, the dirt on the outside of our pack might, might make up that difference. So uh, anyway, we'll do some more testing with this. As I get it dialed in, get things a little bit more more refined, maybe we'll do a uh, tutorial on how to build one, and we'll go through and do some, some real tests. But for now, I just wanted to show you what I've made and show you that it's working. So I appreciate everything you guys do, and uh, if you like what I'm doing, let me know. Get out there and do it, guys.